What's going on, folks? All right, so I just want to do a little update video. Um, it's probably going to be one of the last times I'm using this. I used it now for like probably five days. Um, used it on a couple jobs. Um, I'm just going to give you my opinion on it with more, you know, use. I did a video on it eh, probably a week ago, but just want to go over. Some pros and cons real quick. Um, what I gather from it now, it's a real comfortable backpack blower. It really is. Um, but, you know, th there's a lot of cons to it. The one major con, obviously, is the price of this backpack blower. You know, you're pretty much getting handheld power. You're basically getting a 23-pound handheld blower is what you're getting. And if you put two, two of these batteries in, you're getting a 27 pound handheld blower. Now you're like, well, what do you mean a handheld blower? It's a backpack blower. Yes, it is, but you're getting handheld performance out of this. Now, you know, it's much easier to use in a handheld. You know, you slap it on your back. You know, it's 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 comfortable, but you know, it's the same weight as a you know a gas powered backpack blower. You know what I'm saying? So it, it just doesn't make sense. You know what I'm trying to say? I mean, now, if, you know, it's 450 CFM, 142 miles per hour. If it had 600 CFM, kind of like the Ego, which I think I'm going to try to get and kind of show you, you know, the differences. And it, if that Ego had 450 CFM and 142 miles an hour, it makes more sense. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, you know, a 299 blower with the battery and it's like 14 pounds. You know, this is 23 pounds and it's, you know, $600. So, I mean, it just doesn't really make sense. But it is comfortable. Um, you know, if you want to get into this platform and you have a lot of money to burn, it's definitely something to think about. Um, again, you're not going to be, be doing leaves with this. You know, I'm going to have some footage probably after this real quick of me just using it again with, with some leaves. It's not made for leaves, but again, that's really all that's going on right now. It's November, you know, 12th, 13th, whatever the heck it is. So, you know, that's what's going on. But, you know, you figure you get a backpack blower, you're going to be able to do some leaves with it. And it, 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 it does the leaves, it moves them, but... Not in any type of, um, you know, true backpack blower fashion. You know, there, there is a 130 BT that Husqvarna makes that's a, you know, 17 pound backpack blower that, you know, has this type of power to it. But again, that's like 250 bucks and it's lighter. It's, you know, six pounds lighter and you're probably getting a little bit more power also. So if you want something light to do grass with, there's other options. It just, you know, it just doesn't make sense cost-wise. You know, the pros are it's comfortable. It's a well-made backpack blower. It is. And it's pretty cool. I mean, this technology is going to be around. It's just it's a matter of time. Um, like I said, real comfortable pads in the back. Just a nice, comfortable blower. But the power's not there. It's a great first backpack blower kind of to hit the market. You know, now the Egos come out. So, you know, there's another one out. And I'm sure, you know, Milwaukee, Greenworks, Makita, all these other companies are going to have one of these out eventually. But it's a nice backpack blower, but it's just, it's not worth the price. And it doesn't have the power. And, you know, that's it, plain and simple. There's no you know, other reason to really buy this backpack blower unless you want to get into the lithium-ion platform. If that's what you want to do, you're going to get a nice, comfortable backpack blower that will, you know, clear driveways with uh, side sidewalks, driveways, patios, decks with, you know, leaves, grass, you know, whatever you're doing. But if you want to move a lot of leaves, if you think you're going to do full cleanups with something like this, you know, and all you gotta do is look at the spec sheet and you see 450 CFM and you know you're not gonna be able to do it. So you kinda know what you're getting yourself into before you even put it on your back. So 
it's not the Walt's, you know, issue. You know, the specs are out there. They're not trying to fool anybody. But, you know, basically, in a nutshell, you know, it's a $600 backpack blower. And if you want to get the two big batteries, you're spending like 700 bucks. I think it might be $500 with one battery. The, the price is really varied. you got to shop around. But I think with two batteries of these 7.5s, it's like 749 bucks. You might be able to find it for 699 But you're going to need two batteries because 20 minutes just isn't enough. Even if you're going to use it, you know, on, on with, with grass clippings and stuff like that. You know, it, it goes, you know, you do one house, five minutes. Next house, eight minutes. You know, if you do four or five lawns a day, you know, it might be something that you can get around with uh, one battery. But, you know, that's it. Like I said, the runtime, I went over it. With one of these batteries, you're going to get 20 minutes full throttle power. So, you know, two of these 40 minutes, that should get the job done. But you're going to spend a nice amount of money. And if you don't want to use a handheld blower you know, to do your properties, this might be an option for you, but, you know, that's about it, all right, six minutes, and I got some footage coming up, if you're interested, check it out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.